hey guys welcome again to the mass club if you are just joining us so welcome in the previous video we started a new concept called ratio proportion and rates we discussed what each of these terms mean i will solve some examples under each of the sections so if you have not watched that video i advise that you go to the description and go to the playlist on ratio proportion and rates as a usual custom at the end of every topic we always discuss work past questions on that topic from the last 10 years and this is where past question on ratios proportional rates from 2014 to 2023 let's get started the first question says that if m ratio n is equal to 2 number 1 over 3 ratio 1 number 1 over 5 and n ratio q is equal to 1 number 1 over 2 ratio 1 number 1 over 3 find q ratio m this is from work 2023 so to solve this particular question i could write m and n and say m ratio n is equal to so instead of 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 i could say 3 times 2 which is 6 plus 1 which is 7 so 7 over 3 ratio 5 times 1 plus 1 which is 6 over 5 and i could write n ratio q to be 2 times 1 plus 1 which is 3 over 2 ratio 3 times 1 plus 1 which would be 4 over 3 now if you look at it, n here is 6 over 5, n here is 3 over 2, so we have to make both of them equal. But we also say something that whenever we have the ratio like this, it's also the same thing as saying n divided by n is equal to 7 divided by 3 divided by 6 over 5 is the same thing. Also, so I could say n over q is equal to 3 over 2 divided by 4 over 3. Let us simplify this division. So this would be 7 over 3 times 5 over 6 and this is n over q will be equal to 3 over 2 times 3 over 4 so these are m over n so we consider our m over n is equal to 7 times 5 is 35 and then 3 times 6 is 18 so 35 over 18 and then n over q 3 times 3 is 9 2 times 4 is 8 so if you see now the ratio of m to n is 35 to 18 while n to q is 9 to 8 the idea is that we want to make the ratio of n in both places to be the same thing so if this is 18 and this is 9 if i multiply this top by 2 and i multiply the bottom by 2 9 times 2 will be 18 all over 8 times 2 will be 16. so our n over q is now 18 over 16. no way we say something that we always want the ends or whatever is common in both of them which is n to be the same value and the only way we can make this to be the same value is by multiplying this top by 2 and if we multiply this top by 2 we have to do the same thing too for the denominator so our n is 18 here and our n is 18 so we can say that m ratio n ratio q is 35 ratio 18 ratio 16 and then the question is that we should find the ratio of q to m so we could just say q ratio m what is q? q is 16 and what is m? m is 35 so our answer is 16 ratio 35 let's see if we're correct so that would be option a great next question says that three boys share 10,500 in the ratio 6, 7, 8 find the largest share if you look at this ratio the largest value in the ratio is 8 given that we know that the person that will collect the largest share will be this guy most likely the guy that will take the 8 total ratio is just be 6 plus 7 plus 8 and 6 plus 7 is 13 13 plus 8 is 21 so this is equal to 21 by the time you add all these three which is the ratio you get 21 so to find the largest share you just take the ratio with the highest number which is 8 all over what's the total ratio 21 then multiply by the amount that you want to divide which is 10,500 we've discussed this before in one of the videos so 8 times 10,500 divided by 21 this will give you 4,000 so d4000 that means the person that took the highest amount took 4000 let's see if we're correct great so that would be option a third question says that if x plus 2y is equal to 5x minus 10y find the ratio of x all over y to solve this question it is good that we take common terms together so look at this, this is x and this, so if i carry this x so that would be x minus 5x is equal to minus 10 y if i carry this plus 2y to the other side that will be minus 2y so x minus 5x that will give you what great minus 4x and minus 10y minus 2y that will give you what minus 12y so we want to make 
x over y from what we have. First things first, let's divide both sides by minus 4. Since this is common in both of them, so if I divide this side by minus 4, and then divide this place by minus 4. Minus will cancel, minus 4 will cancel 4, minus cancel minus 4 year 1, 4 year 3. So our x is equal to 3y. So to find x over y, we already have the x here. We have the, I can just divide both sides by y. So if I divide this place by y, I divide this place by y. Y will cancel y. What we have left to be x over y is equal to 3. So the ratio of x to y is actually 3 in this question. Let's see if we're correct. Our answer is 3. Remember, if this is a theory question, you want to show all workings. I will just keep in through your mental rights, divided both sides by 3, things like that to make your answer complete. This question says that if m ratio n is equal to 2 ratio 1, evaluate 3m squared minus 2n squared over m squared plus mn. Like I said, when I was teaching something similar in the previous video, I said when you see things like this, don't assume that the m is 2 and the n is 1 because the m ratio n could actually be 4 ratio 2 because if you divide 4 ratio 2, it seems like saying 2 over 1 or 2 ratio 1. It could be 8 ratio 4. It could be anything. So when you say that, don't assume that the m is 2. So I said instead, take it like you are saying m ratio n is equal to 2x ratio 1x is the saying x so it's better like this so we can say our m is 2x we don't know what the x could be and our n would be equal to x now let's substitute that would be 3 times o bracket 2x all squared minus 2 open bracket x all squared all over 2x all squared plus 2x multiplied by our n is x so you get what i'm doing here so 3 times 2x squared, 2 squared is 4, and x squared is x squared. Minus 2 times x squared, that will give minus 2x squared, all over 2x squared, that will be 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x squared, plus 2x times x, that will give me 2x squared. 3 times 4 is 12, so that will be 12x squared, minus 2x squared, all over 4x squared, plus 2 x squared 12 x squared minus 2 x squared that will give you what 10 x squared all over 4 x squared plus 2 x squared that will give you 6 x squared so the x squares can cancel out so at the end of the day we could also say 2 year 3 2 year 5 so at the end of the day, our answer was just 5 over 3 so one key thing to take home from this is that don't assume that whatever values are given here is the exact value i mean you could solve it like that and get 5 over 3 fine but doing like this shows that you understand that ratio does not equal to the exact value let's see if you're correct so our answer should be option b great next question is that ali musa and yusuf shared 420,000 in the ratio 3 5 and 8 respectively find the sum of ali's and yusuf's share also to pause the video and check this out by yourself welcome back let's solve it together so there are two ways that we can actually solve this first thing that we need to find the total ratio first and that will be 3 plus 5 plus 8 3 plus 5 is 8 8 plus 8 is 16 so the total ratio is 16 so for the first method like i said you could find ali's share first ali is the first guy so that will be 3 so that will be 3 over 16 times 420,000. when i did on my calculator that gave me 78,750. They also check for Yusuf's share. That will be 8 over 16 times 420,000. 8 year 1, 8 year 2. 420,000 divided by 2, that will give you 210,000. And you could now add up and say sum would now be 78,750 plus 210,000. And that will give you 288,750. Error. So this is one method which is very simple. And that method that you can do is that since you're finding the sum of Ali's share, Ali's share is 3. Yusuf's share is 8. So if I just do that sum of their ratios, so sum of ratio of Ali and Yusuf, that will be Yusuf is 8, Ali is 3, that will be 3 plus 8, which is equal to 11. So I could just say that the exact amount corresponding to that sum would just be 11 all over. We found the sum of the third ratio to be 16. Now 11 over 16 is 420,000. That gave me 288,750. So any which way you choose to use, you will get the same answer. But I think if it was an exam, I would really like if you showed me Ali's share, you see share, then you now added it together. Let's see if our answer is correct. 288,750. Great. This next one is taken from YEC 2018 and it says if x ratio y ratio z is equal to 2 ratio 3 ratio 4 
evaluate 9x plus 3y over 6z minus 2y. I want you to pause the video and try this out yourself. Welcome back. Let's solve it together. Like I said before, when you see ratios like this, always say x, x, but, but in this case now, we have something that is a value x. So maybe you can use maybe w or something very funny. So you could say our x is 2w, our y is 3w, our z is 4w. Let's evaluate. So that would be 9 times 2w plus 3 times 3w because y is 3w all over 6 times z is 4w minus our y is 3w. Let's simplify. 9 times 2 is 18. So 18w plus 3 times 3 is 99w all over 6 times 4 is 24. 24w 24 minus 2 times 3 is 6. 6w. 18 plus 9 that will give you 27w over 24 minus 6 will give me 18 so that will be 18 w then w can cancel w here 9 year 2 9 year 3 so our answer is actually 3 over 2 let's see if we're actually correct so that seems like saying 1 all over 1 all over 2 that is option a so if you got it well done to you this question 2 also says that if x ratio y is equal to 1 over 4 ratio 3 over 8 and y ratio z is equal to 1 over 3 ratio 4 over 9 we should find x we should z i want you to pause this video and try this out yourself welcome back let's solve it together x over y is like saying 1 over 4 divided by 3 over 8 and y over z seems like saying 1 over 3 divided by 4 over 9 so let's simplify this this will be 1 over 4 times 8 over 3 and this will be 1 over 3 times 9 over 4 so 3 year 1, 3 year 3, this will give you 3 over 4. 4 year 1, 4 year 2, this will give me 2 over 3. So if you look at this, this is our x over y. Our y here is 3. Our y here is 3. So we don't have any problem. So we know that our x ratio y ratio z will just be the value corresponding to x which is 2, value corresponding to y which is 3, the value corresponding to z which is 4. And this is how you find x we should say so our x we should say you just pick what x is here 2 we should pick what z is here 4 so our x we should z is 2 ratio 4 let's see if we're correct okay so we don't see 2 ratio 4 but we know that 2 ratio 4 is seems like saying 1 ratio 2 it's because if i say x over z is equal to 2 over 4 2 year 1 2 year 2 so our x we should z seems like saying 1 ratio 2 so that should lead us to option d so our option d should be the answer great now this next question says that the ages of tundi and ola are in the ratio one ratio two if the ratio of ola's age to musa's age is four ratio five what is the ratio of tundi's age to musa's age i want to actually pause this video and try this out yourself welcome back let's solve it together this is a word problem that is corresponding to all the things we've been doing so if you represent tundi as t ola as o and musa as m so t ratio o is 1 ratio 2 and then o ratio m is 4 ratio 5. so we could say t over o is equal to 1 over 2 and o over m is equal to 4 over 5. our o here is 4 our o here is 2 because this thing that is common we have to move to them the same if i multiply this one by 2 and multiply this one by 2 what will i have i will have 2 over 4. so our o here is 4 our o here is 4. fine so at C ratio O ratio M will now be 2 ratio 4 ratio 5. But instead we should find the ratio of Tundi's A to Musa's A. So T ratio M will be equal to 2 ratio 5. And that's it. Let's see if we're correct. So 2 ratio 5, that will be option C. If you got this, well done to you. Number 9 says that if 3P plus 4Q over 3P minus 4Q is equal to 2, Find P ratio Q. I want you to pause the video and try this out yourself. Welcome back. Let's solve it together. The first thing that we can do is that we can cross multiply. You know, we say that whenever you see 2 like this, like saying 2 over 1, the same thing. So if I cross multiply, or well, let me write it down, so that would be 3P plus 4Q all over 3P minus 4Q is equal to 2 over 1. So let's cross multiply. This times 1 will give me 3P plus 4q and this times 2 will give me 2 open brackets 3p minus 4q so 3p plus 4q is equal to 2 times 3 is 6 that would be 6p minus 2 times 4 is 8 minus 8q now let's take like items 
let the p's come to this side that will be 3p minus 6p is equal to minus 8q this plus 4q come to that so that will be minus 4q 3 minus 6 that will give me minus 3p minus 8 minus 4 that will give me minus 12q and if i divide both sides by minus 3 minus 2 cancel minus 3a1 3a4 minus 3 cancel minus 3 so our p is now what our p is equal to 4q but in the question the question is that we should find p ratio q so we have to divide both sides by q if i divide this by q i divide this by q q will cancel q and then p over q will be equal to 4. p over q seems as saying p ratio q so p ratio q is equal to 4 or you could say 4 ratio 1. let's see if you're correct so our answer is 4. The next question says that a trader bought an engine for 15,000 outside nigeria if the exchange rate is 0.075 dollar to one naira how much did the engine cost in naira let's solve this together so we know that 0.075 dollar is the equivalent of one naira so what is the equivalent of fifteen thousand dollars to the naira so let's just say x naira and if i cross multiply that would be 0.075 x is equal to one times fifteen thousand that would be fifteen thousand so if i want to make x stand alone i'll divide both sides by 0.075 i'll divide this by 0.075 so this guy will cancel this guy x will be equal to if you take a calculator and you do 15,000 divided by 0.075, you would have 200,000 Naira. So in terms of Naira, given this rate that we are told, $15,000 is 200,000 Naira. Let's see if you're correct. The answer will be B, 200,000 Naira. Great. And finally, we are told that if X ratio Y is 3 ratio 2 and Y ratio Z is 5 ratio 4, find the value of X in the ratio x ratio y ratio z i want you to pause the video and try this out yourself welcome back let's solve it together so we know that x over y is equal to 3 over 2 and we know that y over z is equal to 5 over 4. the y here is 2 you know it's y that is joining both of them the y here is 2 the y here is 5 so how can i make both of them equal so i can multiply this one by 5 multiply this one by 5 then i'll multiply this one by 2 multiply this place by 2 so that this place will be 10 and this place will be 10. so x over y is equal to 15 over 10 and then y over z is equal to 10 over 8. so since what is joining them has the same value so we could say x ratio y ratio z is 15 ratio 10 ratio 8 and it said what is x in the ratio so therefore we could say x is equal to 15 like x represents 15 simple and short let's see if you're correct so that should be c great and with this we've come to the end of ratio proportion and rates if some things are looking not clear to you that might be because you missed the previous video so you might want to watch the previous video to understand all of the things that we've done and then rewatch this particular white pass question video and everything will sum up if you have not subscribed to the channel the good time to actually hit the subscribe button so that you can be up to date with all of the things that we churn out every week. I'll see you guys in the next video.